in the world have we tapped into? Sample site three is showing biogas concentration off the charts. Wetland substratum is surprisingly dense limestone at all excavation sites, and we've had no trouble locating naturally formed chambers. This and the dense calcite formation suggest that subterranean water flow has eroded a vast network of caves and grottos throughout the region. Mapping these will be a monumental effort and necessary to fully uncover the bounty of natural gas resources captured down here. What I don't understand is the amount of lye residue we're encountering. I'm going to try and touch base with some of my academic contacts and see if we can find any precedent for it. We'll have plenty of time to work that out, though. I've no doubt Bish will want to set up shop here and drill their little hearts out. This is Principal Geological Chemist Caroline Saunders for Bish National Gas Survey MD 16001. Consider this my authorization signature on sample site three. Far as I'm concerned, this is a prime location for biogas harvesting and a treasure trove for some field research. Caroline Saunders, Principal Geological Chemist for Bish National Gas Survey MD 16001. Sample set one shows promising concentration of biogas in mostly limestone substratum of wetlands. No exact levels yet, but this site should exhibit more than enough extraction potential to meet survey goals. I'm going to leave a couple of interns here to handle the minutia, but it's a formality. I'll move on to the other sites now to make sure this isn't an aberration. Consider this my authorization signature on sample site one.
Good thing, sweetie. Tonics brewed and bottled. Here's your pay and a cut of the batch. Enjoy it. You're an eager one, ain't you? I have to let the still air out a few days between brews. Check back with me later. Don't be a stranger now. Just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of his boat now. I consider it payment for what he did to my poor sliced up brain. I was gonna do the same to him, but I figured you'd want the honor. Seems that when the tribals would send someone to the swamp, He'd be waiting around to nab him when the Pungaseeds gassed him. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for Punga fruit to trade. Sweet little deal he had going on. Yeah, he seemed nice enough, didn't he? I wouldn't have figured it out if I hadn't snuck into his engine room while waiting for you. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out and he had quite a collection. You can take a look if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love, preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. First off, I'm claiming this boat. I put Tobar down, so it's mine. Them's the rules of the ocean. So that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn, if I haven't earned that adventure I came out looking for. Think I'll take over running this ship. I can travel as I like and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. Now that I've got this sweet boat, I guess I can head back home. For a while, anyway. Just wait till Mom sees the haul I'm bringing home. Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. Well, if it isn't my favorite traveler, and oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head. Aren't you? Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on! I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest, I probably kill fewer people than you do. But I suppose it's time that came to an end. One way or another. 
There you are. Oh! We having fun yet? Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. We having fun yet? Caroline Saunders speaking, Principal Geological Chemist on Bish National Gas Survey MD 16001. Preliminary results from sample site 2 are promising. We're posting similar concentrations as in the first site. Similar biogas makeup here as well, including a few organic compounds that I'm not familiar with. We've also discovered heavy lye residue in a naturally formed chamber at this excavation site. Lucky we were wearing caustic gear to begin with, or somebody might have suffered some serious chemical burns. I'd like to analyze the site further, see if there's any connection between these compounds and my deposits. 
My tech is telling me he needs a couple of hours to work on our ventilator unit. I suppose I'll move on to Site 3 in the meantime. Further analysis is for my own curiosity anyway. This is my authorization signature on Sample Site 2. 